The objective of this presentation is to show the general picture for pulse shaping and controlled ISI. So the first thing that comes to our mind that we communicate, we will send data over the channel using impulses. So basically we have impulses. The problem with this kind of thinking is that it requires infinite bandwidth. So impulses are not a good option. So we moved from impulses to the next option which is pulses using square pulses. The spectrum will still be infinite however it can be approximated and when the signal goes through a channel we will have what we call ISI so instead of the pulses taking certain time they will expand in time this will cause intersymbol interference or ISI so pulses still have problem because they have infinite bandwidth and the channel is band limited so cutting the, the bandwidth or limiting the bandwidth will result in what we call ISI so what is next? next we go from pulses to the use of sync the beauty about using sync is that it satisfies it satisfies Nyquist criteria for zero ISI so there will be no ISI we solve the problem of intersymbol interference one other advantage for sync using sync to represent the data is the minimum required bandwidth which is half the data rate but still there is one problem with sync it still has got a relatively high tail it decays at a rate of 1 over t to solve this problem we go to the next option which is use of raised cosine raised cosine represent family of curves here we show the time domain raised cosine and here we see we see the associated uh, spectrum so when going from sync to raised cosine we are ready to pay bandwidth we, will, we pay the price in terms of bandwidth so we pay more extra or we pay the price of extra bandwidth and we get small tail compare the red signal the blue signal with the green case so it's a family of curves where sync is just one member of this family again raised cosine pulses satisfy Nyquist criteria for zero SI we define two new things the excess bandwidth which is the amount of extra bandwidth compared with the minimum and we also define the role of factor which is the ratio between the excess bandwidth to the minimum required which is RB over 2 so it's FX relative to RB over 2 now for a communication system that uses the raised cosine for a baseband system binary system the bandwidth will be bandwidth equal to the minimum RB over 2 plus the additional part of the spectrum so we have extra bandwidth here now this 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 diagram shows you a sequence of data when uh, sent using raised cosine with two different options now we're good to go however the problem with raised cosine it have solved the problem of decay we have faster decay maybe at a rate of 1 over t for t squared for example but uh, the cost is huge the cost is bandwidth or alternatively data rate now the next option which we call du binary will achieve zero SI and it will keep the original advantage of sync which is minimum required bandwidth of course there will be some cost and the complexity so the, the coming two options are called um, controlled ISI or partial response signaling so th the first type of pulses that's called due binary pulses will send uh, controlled ISI so there will be an ISI if you, se if you want to send at time n equal to 0 you will also interfere with the next pulse and the spectrum would be now the minimum required of course this controlled ISI has to be removed somehow at the receiver side using um, some logic now the objective of this slide as I said is not to explain the individual items it's just rather to show how we progress in pulse shaping so when we do this due binary will still suffer from error propagation now to solve the issue of error propagation we go into the option of due binary pulses with differential precoding so we have to do precoding before we encode with due binary precoding for example means that one if we have a one data of one will send identical bit like the previous one and if we have zero we'll do a change of previous transmission so if we do this 
what happened is, is uh, at the receiver side will have similar decoding and no error propagation of course the cost will be uh, the complexity in doing that recording this is a general view we have other videos and other PowerPoint presentations to explain the individual items impulses pulses sync raise cosine then we go into do binary and finally do binary pulses with differential recording thank you for listening